footage. So, yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll make it a little bigger over time. Move it over here, make it a little bigger. Don't want to make it too big so the ball goes out of the screen. We need some room for the beam over here. The beam that comes out of it. That I'll be showing you right after this. So you gotta make sure the ball lines up perfectly. Yes, you see I'm looking at the screen right now in the video. That's me, Sonic Baller. <coughs> okay, I'm just about to put the my hands down because I'm just about to be done. Okay, well, I'll just make it. Yeah, I'll stop here. So now to make the beam come out, I'm gonna wanna just create like no, set up keyframe for mask shape. Then let's see. I don't know why this white stuff is coming up right here. And if you're wondering why these windows over here, which are the effects and presets windows, are gone. It's just because I didn't turn them on. This should look more familiar to you. Okay, anyway. Set a keyframe for mask shape right here. So then the keyframe should be right about here. And then... Um, take the pen tool. Zoom in a little. To about here. So you can see everything on the blast. You set a keyframe right... I mean, set up mask point right about here look at that right about there right about here here and then set one about like in between these two points in between these two like right here no here that's good it should be a little closer to the middle though and then another one right about here okay that's good then move a few frames up forward in the timeline like right where the blast should come out, right there. Then just drag this here, and drag this out. And then stretch these little thingies down. Stretch this one down too. Um, let's see, hold on a minute. Just fixing some stuff. Just try to follow along, okay? I'm not that good at making tutorials yet. This is my first one. should stretch out a little more. I'm going to select these two points like this. Just bring it out. You're probably thinking this is just like demonstrations tutorial. YouTube.com slash demonstration. Now this is different. I'm not going to be using... Well, you'll see. It's a little different. Okay. How does that look? Because, yeah. Kamehameha, yeah. Okay. Now for the good part of this. The shiny stuff. Yeah, you all love the shiny stuff, I know that. What you gotta do is go to Effect, Trap Code, Shine. So, that creates that this little energy around it, which looks cool. You probably think that looks really cool right now, but there's ways to make it look even cooler. First, go to Colorize, in the Effects Controls, Colorize. Now click on that thing. Now go to, no, not chemistry. Oops. Click on electric. Now watch. See. Look at that. That looks good. <clears throat> As you can tell, it already looks like light is coming out of it. Like this. That looks pretty good. There's still a lot more that needs to be done, though. What I like to do is go right here. See the. Mo the thing that says mode and then normal right there click on that and set the mode to add that makes the blast look a lot brighter like this it looks like real light sorta that helps a lot a lot of people don't do this I usually do this for all my kinds of energy in my movies I always make sure the blending mode is add so it looks like real light huh. how does that well, that's basically how to make a basic kind of That's basically done. But I'm going to add some finishing touches to it, like maybe some shimmer. 
And if you're wondering what Shimmer is, I'll show you. Now I'll just exit this. I'll do the effects from over here. Now click on the effects thing right there. Shine, open it. Go to Shimmer. I'll set the amount to be extra high. Like, like, um, that. No, higher. Like, um, that. No, higher. Like that. See that stuff? See that little light coming out? That's what they do in, like, the show when Goku charges up a Kamehameha and then there's that light everywhere. Should make it a little brighter. By moving the ray length up. So maybe. <laughs> okay. That was a sneeze. Move the ray length up to, like, 8. See that stuff? That looks good, right? Okay. Keep the ray length at 8 for the whole thing. Now, if you're wondering why those the beams are staying still, that's what we're going to fix. So, go down to the phase. Click, look at the phase section of the shimmer. Set a keyframe. Just click on the keyframe button. The little clock. Stopwatch thingy. Set a keyframe there. Now, move the timeline thingy up to 9 like way back here or something and then just move the number up like however much you want it the higher the number is the faster the the shimmering will be like this see now it's moving okay and but when when he shoots the blast you don't really want the shimmer to come out so what you're going to do right here is keyframe the amount right before he shoots the blast, like right about here. Click on the stopwatch for amount, move the timeline marker thingy up to right about here, then move the amount to zero. Um, to zero. Just type in zero. <coughs> okay. Okay, there's basically a basic Kamehameha. Basic Kamehameha. Okay. <whistles> Boom. Kapawi. Kaboomy. Yeah. As you can see, I'm charging it up like this. Kamehameha. Oh my gosh, he is powerful. He's a real superhero. No, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> okay, there's still some more that needs to be done. Um, well, that's basically it. But, um, it's, um, yeah, that's basically it. You could leave the tutorial now and just do this if you want. There's still a little more to be done. First, let me trim the cup. Let's see. Just trim it right here to right when I let go of the blast. Right here. Composition, trim comp to work area. Now the composition is just as long as the blast. <laughs> See, this looks better than demonstrations. No offense, demonstration on YouTube. But, see, he added this, like, black stuff right around here that made it look more like a, or like a weird blast, not like a Kamehameha. Um, no offense, demonstration. <coughs> and, is you know, this effect shine right here, if you see it right about here, a lot of people don't have that, because it's a plug-in, it's about a hundred bucks, but luckily it came with my After Effects, so I got shine. But for most people, you have to pay like extra hundred bucks to get this effect. So I'm gonna show you how to make an effect just like this without any plugins like shine. So I'll turn it back to this. I turn shine off. Now go to effect, stylize, glow. You're probably thinking that looks really lame. I'll make it look better. See where it says glow based? Go to click on color channels and change it to alpha channel. Now go down to the color -y thingies. Now click on color A. Make it be light bluish color like this. 
all a little lighter like that.